हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू दी से ऑन फिक्स इनकम फॉर सी एफ ए लेवल वन इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ बॉन्ड वैल्यूएशन इन दिस क्लास वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मेट्रिक्स प्राइजिंग दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट वेरी सिंपल बट इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ओवर हियर सी सर्टन बॉन्ड्स विच आर नॉट फ्रीक्वेंटली ट्रेडेड इन द मार्केट it is difficult to track the price of that so when the price is difficult to track you cannot even conclude the ytm of such bonds because price and ytm are connected if you know the ytm you can determine the price if you know the price you can determine the ytm but what if you don't know any of these then you are stuck so what happens in reality bonds which are frequently traded in the market these bonds have their defined price which is quoted in the market through the price we generally determine the ytm now when we find that there are certain bonds which are not traded in the market so frequently where the price is not established price or not a price from an active market you can make an estimate of that price through the estimated ytm of such bonds so understand the process it is through the ytm you will arrive at the price that means you are not going to find the quoted price of such bonds you will determine the price of the bond through its estimated ytm so in one line if you need to understand what is matrix pricing if you want you can note down in your notebooks the process of determining the price of the bond through its estimated ytm is called matrix pricing i repeat again the process of determining the price of the bond the process of determining the price of the bond through its estimated ytm through its estimated ytm is called matrix pricing let us do one thing after you have written that line why and where it will be used so under the heading matrix pricing please continue to write matrix pricing is an approach used by analysts when there isn't enough market data available to directly determine the price or ytm of a particular bond this situation occurs when a bond does not trade often enough or has not traded recently to have a reliable market price or yield the procedure is to use the ytms of the traded bonds that have credit quality very close to that of a non traded or infrequently traded bond and are similar in maturity and coupon to estimate the required ytm all right friends once you have completed writing this much let us move ahead and continue further consider this example which states estimate the value of a non traded 4% annual pay a plus rated bond that has 3 years remaining maturity that is 3 years remaining until maturity the following ytm information on similar corporate bonds is available a plus rated so basically all three bonds are a plus rated so a plus rated bond with 2 year annual pay ytm of 4.3% and then the later two bonds both are 5 years so what we need to understand first focus on these two bonds both are 5 year annual pay bonds with little different ytm which is very close to one another but still little different so what you can do is you can average out these two that is 5.1% and 5.3% and the average of these two will be considered as the ytm for a 5 year annual pay bond which is a plus rated so let us do that average calculation first 
that average would obviously come to 5.2 percent. Now, 5.2 percent is for a 5 year bond and 4.3 percent is for a 2 year bond. We want the YTM to be estimated for a 3 years bond. So, we will use interpolation. So, second step will be to interpolate the 3 year YTM based on the 2 year and average 5 year YTMs. Alright friends, once you have completed writing this much, let us move ahead and continue further using interpolation for 3 years YTM. Now, please carefully understand the procedure of interpolation. So, we have two separate category of bonds, one is 2 year bond, one is 5 year bond that is the remaining maturity is 2 years and 5 years. The 3 year maturity bond will be lying somewhere in between this range. Now, what are the respective YTMs of these two categories? 4.3 percent for a 2 year bond and 5.2 percent which was the average of 5.1 percent and 5.3 percent which were representing the YTMs of 5 year bond. Now, if you see the gap between 2 and 5 which represents the remaining maturity is 3 years and can you notice one thing the longer maturity bond has a higher YTM compared to the lower one. That means, if there is a time gap between the maturities there is a gap in the YTM as well that gap is 0 0.9 percent. Now, we know one thing for sure that our target period is 3 years. So, the bond with a maturity of 3 years which is having similar credit rating to these bonds 3 years will be lying somewhere in between 2 and 5 years. That means, the YTM of that bond will be greater than 4.3 percent, but less than 5.2 percent. So, the way we apply interpolation, we would say that the YTM of that 3 year bond will be 4.3 percent plus something. Now, plus something, how much will be that something? Let us interpolate over here. So, in true sense, interpolation applies this way that for a 3 year gap, the difference in YTM is 0 0.9 percent. So, 3 years gap difference in YTM is 0 0.9 percent, but we want the YTM of 3 year maturity. So, between 2 and 3 years the gap will be 1 year. So, if 3 years gap is resulting into difference of YTM of 0 0.9 percent, 1 year gap will result into how much difference. Now, you can just apply the ratio proportion. So, 3 years 0 0.9 percent 1 year how much? So, you can just apply the cross multiplication that question mark will be 1 by 3 into 0 0.9 percent that comes to 0 0.3 percent and whatever be the question mark value that something must be added to 4.3 percent. So, your YTM will be 4.3 percent plus 0 0.3 percent that comes to 4.6 percent approximately. Now, once your YTM is determined you can apply the procedure for determining the price. So, price the non traded bond with a YTM of 4.6 percent. So, you just pick your financial calculator and input these information n equals to 3 correct PMT equals to 4 FV is 100. So, we have considered these bonds with a par value of dollar 100 I by Y will be 4.6 and you just apply CPT PV and you will be getting negative 98.354 which indicates the price of the bond at present. So, you may conclude the estimated value is dollar 98.354 per dollar 100 par value. So, this is the procedure for determining the price of a non traded bond and this is what we call as approach of matrix pricing. So, please carefully write up this entire calculation, use your financial calculator wherever required, do not just copy everything, calculate everything and systematically understand and write down the solution.